don't want to take this opportunity for granted. Um, I wanted to, you know, play extremely well tonight for our ball club. I wanted us to play extremely well going in, going into the break on a high note, and uh, you know, our team uh, we responded very well. You haven't had a ton of games lately with that kind of possession by possession down the stretch things. So what what are you looking for there, and especially with AD in the two man game, how you guys are able to get good shots? That's it. We're just trying to get great shots. You know, trying not to play against the shot clock, which we did a couple times, but for the most part, we got really good shots. And uh, when you're able to do that, um, you always keep the defense at bay. And um, for the most part, we was able to knock them down, even though it was a back and forth game throughout the whole game. You could argue that AC and Dwight came in and kind of changed the tempo of the game, especially that defense. So what did you see from them? So Dwight, how you, you said it. You said it. I mean, Dwight came and changed the game from an offensive rebounding standpoint, just bullying, um, you know, whoever was on him, being able to get to the free throw line, getting us into the bonus. Uh, giving us some, you know, some dunks, giving us extra possessions, and then AC defensively was just so in tune, um, getting steals, getting stops, getting strips, um, and being a very ultra aggressive on the offensive end. So uh, those guys were unbelievable off the bench for us. It's a night like this for AD, continuing his growth process. He has the block on Jokic, he has the threes. It's, it's one of the better teams in the Western Conference. Did you see this as part of his progression this season? I mean, every opportunity that we get to play in a close game versus a tough opponent. Um, you know, it's a learning experience for all of us. It, it prepares us, you know, for a postseason game where it's going to be back and forth, back and forth. I thought tonight was a playoff atmosphere, both teams being number one and number two in the West Conference, you know, jockeying for position. So, um, you know, just trying to make plays, whatever it takes, you know, on the offensive end, on the defensive end. And, uh, you know, and, and 80 was there, you know, knocking down big threes, uh, getting a block, getting some stops. You know, it was just, it was, I got the, got the jump ball as well, uh, just big time. LeBron, with you being injured last year, does that make you, with the play, not making the playoffs, do you feel more on a mission this year to, what, did that make you appreciate the game more, not playing last year and not being in the playoffs? No, I don't need an injury to make me appreciate the game. You know, but, um, you know, coming into the season, you know, just very hungry, uh, very enthused, very motivated on uh, trying to put this team in position to be as successful as we can. And, uh, and also at the end of the day, not um, ever skipping the process. You know, and that's just my mindset. You mentioned it being one versus two in the West. How much juice does that add to the matchup on the court? And then by extension, how much more of an exclamation point does it make the victory going into the All-Star? Uh, well, I've been in locker rooms where you're trying to, you know, catch the number one seed. And I, and I can probably echo what Coach Malone's speech was. was those guys are three games ahead of us, you know. And if we want to beat the number one seed, we got to beat them. Uh, they beat us on our home floor before, and let's let's go get this one. You know, so I had that in my mind, understanding I know what they're thinking over there. I know the dialogue that's probably going over there and saying they want to, you know, try to get a good, a great win versus us. You know, going into the post, I mean, going into the uh, to the break. So, you know, I just try to counterproduct that by you know bringing that same intensity. You've been on teams where you know you guys have been the number one team. You've been on teams where you have a chase that is hard. Is the number one seed a strong goal? You guys have been. We don't talk about it. We really don't. We just play the game the right way. We don't talk about it. We see the standings. We know what it is, but we don't talk about it. We go out and say, hey, we're the number one seed. Let's play. No, we just go play our game. And if it happens, it happens. Deal with a six week sprint after the break uh, until the postseason big picture. What things have you guys done up to this point to make you feel? Uh, what have you done to, to judge where you guys are at? Um, well, we are where we need to be. And. Uh, you know, we'll come back off the break and get ready for the for the final stretch um, of the regular season. But you don't put too much into it. You understand that you play some good basketball along the way. You play some not good basketball. But you want to continue to get better and continue to trust the process. Um, you know, so we look forward to it when we get back um, and uh, get back on the floor and see how, how far we can continue to grow. I know you don't talk about it amongst each other, but for you personally, how do you think it is to have We don't talk about it. I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, I think every Western Conference team that will make the playoffs can win on someone else's floor. You know, um, you know, for us, we would love to play in front of our home fans as much as we can. We love being, um, you know, with the, with our Laker faithful. But you know, at the end of the day, you go out and play each and each and every game like it's his own game, and you can't worry about what can happen uh, the following day. You can only live in the present. So, you know. You know, like we did tonight. Having, having, a, having a key role in the All Star game is a big, uh, it's been part of your career for a long time. Uh, do you find any ways to find breaks, just mental, you know, over the over these? I try, I try, I, I, I truly try, and uh, you know, I got a couple days um, now where I can try to get a little break mentally. Um, so 
So we see, we see what, what what happens. You know, All Star uh, break is, is obviously for guys that are not a part of the All Star weekend. So I'm very excited about my teammates being able to get some rest, decompress, get away from the game, and come back fresh. And uh, myself uh, will be locked in for them, no matter how much rest I can get. Um, you know, so it doesn't matter. Great, thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching Trending Sports News on YouTube. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for your training sports news.